I think it's time for you to start to seriously consider salads. Sometimes you just want to go to some of the best fast food places, but not eat artery-clogging foods that will make you feel like a puffer fish and yet still hungry an hour later. That's why you'd probably go ahead and order a salad. But in many of these cases, you're not aware of what's actually tasty and worth spending that hard-earned cash on. As a result of that basic want, people started to gain interest in certain fast food salads as opposed to others. So let's order up a heaping serving of veggies with these top 10 fast food salads. My arteries are clogged with yellow gold. Cantina Power Bowl, Taco Bell. Don't you want a little taste of the glory? See what it tastes like. Taco Bell does a lot of things right, and we've got to say that their salads, specifically the Cantina Power Bowl, is one of those things. It may not look too appealing, but it most certainly does taste good with some fire-grilled white meat chicken, guacamole, romaine lettuce, reduced-fat sour cream, and avocado ranch dressing. You want to hit this ranch? Alongside all of that, it's got a nice reduced-fat sour cream on top of Latin rice and black beans and cheddar cheese. It's safe to assume that this salad is not going anywhere anytime soon, as it's not very traditional and doesn't have competition. You see, most fast food joints will just slap some lettuce, sauce, and chicken together and send it out to serve. But at Taco Bell, it's clear they wanted to go above and beyond by creating a salad that few people have ever had before. Not only should this particular one be tasty, but since it's got beans, it might be filling enough for people who don't often have satisfied stomachs after a salad. The salad is actually quite good for lunch, especially if you're someone who might work in an office with a low-calorie burning job. My grandfather created the Cobb salad. Grilled Market Salad. Chick-fil-A. Two salads. Never heard of it. This salad from Chick-fil-A is the kind that's eaten by someone who obviously enjoys choices. There are so many great salad dressing options to choose from, including honey sesame. On top of that, you get tiny packets of granola, roasted nuts, blue cheese, and even what's been called the holy trinity of berries, as in blueberries, strawberries, and cranberries. As for the meat aspect of this salad, there's the rather traditional grilled chicken that adds some much needed flavor, mixed up with some strings of radish and carrot. Jenny and me was like peas and carrots. It's still a salad with lettuce, but has certain aspects of a fruit bowl mixed into it, and that really does help sell it to people, especially those of us who are out and about. However, the bottom line is, will this be a filling salad for the average person? Chances are, yes, due to the various healthy foods in it, with the added advantage of having a low calorie count. You see, it's been estimated to sit at around 200 or so calories pre-dressing, which means that it leaves mathematical room to eat extra snacks later in the day. The grilled market salad, with all its contents, could act as a portion of great energizing food for anyone who might be going to or coming from a workout. <laughs> Original Grilled Chicken Salad, Carl's Jr. What in the name of Davy Jones's locker is a salad? If you've ever wanted a salad that has got a plentiful amount of vegetables, it's got to be from Carl's Jr. In particular, you've got the option to slap in cucumber, tomatoes, and onion, all of which are large in size, which should mean that you're getting your money's worth. As for the green and actual typical salad area of things, it's pretty standard and won't surprise anyone who's ever seen a salad before in their life. If you're curious about the chicken, it's good, but there's room for improvement. It's been said that while it does taste like it was on a grill at some point in time, it could have possibly been seasoned more or stayed on the heat a little longer. Now you've ruined it like a pizza place ruins a salad! In general, Carl's Jr. has a pretty good salad, especially since they incorporate a generous serving of vegetables. This can be seen as beneficial for two reasons. The first is that anyone on a diet might be able to get their daily recommended amount of veggies in one small meal. The second being that since the portions are large, the individual might not need to consume something later on to carry them through until the next meal. Though vegetables aren't really something many people like to eat first thing in the morning, so you should probably save this for lunch or dinner. Is there anything today that I ate that wasn't microwaved? Chicken Club Salad, Burger King. Chicken is rather common in salad, and with that in mind, it's also commonly prepared the same way. However, this is not the case when talking about the Chicken Club Salad from Burger King, a brand not known for their salads. This salad can be seen as patchy due to the claim that it has several fried items in it. Some of the fried items include bacon, croutons, and fried chicken. This is something that might go against what many customers are trying to do, eat better and possibly lose some weight. These fried items might not be helping them in that sector, especially since there isn't a ton of vegetables apparently. Currently. Here you go, two salads. The only type other than lettuce is the cherry tomatoes. Although, despite the mild lack of healthy benefits for this salad, in particular, the taste is quite good. 
How could it not be? Everything that's in it generally tastes decent when eaten alone, especially fried chicken. When it's all mixed together, it has the power to act like a flavor bomb just went off inside your mouth. While it may not be entirely healthy, you could have it every now and then during your lunch break or perhaps even on a cheat day. Woohoo! Look at that blubber fly! Turkey breast salad, Subway. Great turkey leg. Subway has done what they do best when it comes to lettuce, combining it with various vegetables to make a low-calorie, nutrient-packed meal. The turkey breast salad is something that you could actually consume without needing to drown the plate in a terrible dressing. However, if you'd like, you can get some dressing to further your experience, but expect it to add to the overall calorie and sodium count. Here, eat this cupcake. While consuming these spinach, black olives, red onions, green peppers, cucumbers, and tomatoes, you get a nice balanced taste for your tongue's buds. On top of that, you can probably guess that it's a fulfilling meal that won't leave you going back to the preparation counter asking for more due to you still being hungry. While this variation may not have the mouth-watering fried chicken that everyone loves, it does come with some turkey breast. This means that it not only has something unique in terms of the meat provided, but also has the ability to act as a substitute for a traditional meal if you you've got to work during the holidays. Once again, you're really only going to want to eat this during the lunch break, since it does seem like a heavy gut hitter. This means that you'll have more time to digest and use what you're consuming. <laughs> there you go, you'll better cover your plate. Bacon Ranch Salad, McDonald's. Cash salad? Any good? Over at McDonald's, the bottom line in terms of salads is ultimately making it appetizing and, at the very least, somewhat healthy. This is precisely the case when talking about their bacon ranch salad, as the quality comes off as high, despite the fact that the customer has the option to purchase it alongside crispy fried chicken. Overall, the fast food chain manages to keep this salad simple. It has everything one could want in it – tomatoes, meat, bacon, and various forms of leafy greens. It's clear that when it was considered for the menu, diversity in what they were going to offer offer within the salad was high on the list. However, in some cases, it may be seen as a little expensive compared to some of the restaurant's other options. That's more than I make in a month! Well, you should have finished college. But it's safe to say that you're stretching the dollar pretty far when buying it. In this case, the idea that a fancy style of food is lighter and should be eaten later on could come into effect. You see, McDonald's did create a good salad, but it certainly isn't anything that you need to jump up and down about. This is why it's perfect for a simple late-night dinner option. Salad and tea. Apple Pecan Chicken Salad, Wendy's. What are you doing to Beast Boy? He was eating a cash salad. This Wendy's salad may not be as simple as our previous one, but it does manage to hold its ground in the department of being unique. You see, this can be seen as one of the least traditional salads that can be found on a fast food menu. It comes packing both red and green apples, sweet dried cranberries, blue cheese crumbles, roasted pecans, a lettuce mix, pomegranate vinaigrette dressing, and just to add something typical to the batch, grilled chicken. What this means is that it does contain some aspects of what you might picture a salad looking like, but it certainly won't taste like that. The apples can provide a mildly sweet and sour taste with a strong crunch. How do you like them apples? As for the dressing, it's where everything comes together. One cannot simply consume this without the dressing, as it's what brings harmony to all these flavor types. The dressing brings that together by creating a common enjoyment between everything and limiting the more powerful tastes of certain ingredients. Mixing these fruits and tastes together makes us believe that it's a great option for breakfast, so long as it's available for purchase during those hours at your local Wendy's. The apples will remind you what time of day it is, and the pecans will give you a good protein boost in the early morning. Mm. Spicy Southwest Salad, Chick-fil-A. Two salads. The spicy Southwest salad from Chick-fil-A has the well-known and loved fast food brand's chicken in it, partnered with some Tex-Mex flavors – corn, beans, chili lime pepitas, green lettuce, bright red tomatoes, and even tortilla strips. On top of all of that, there's even a recommended dressing for it – chili lime vinaigrette. Which is great, because more often than not, the customer makes the choice in that department, which can result in the loss of flavor due to a poorly paired salad dressing. We're friends now, right? All this does come out at a price, though. It costs around $8.99. However, that's made up for when you realize that this isn't an appetizer and can really give your stomach a ride for its money in the form of not grumbling around before the start of the evening. Alongside that, it's very rare to come across salads that have got tortilla strips in them, which can add some much-needed salt to the mix in some cases. 
Cheetos. Now, for those of you that enjoy the zing of some spicy food, this would be perfect to eat at that sales meeting as you'll get the juices and energy flowing at the table. If you're not at a sales meeting, then you can probably get away with wanting to spice up the afternoon by doing something interesting at lunch. Salad? How do you make a salad? Charbroiled chicken salad. Carl's Jr. Remove the bun, the patty, and the condiments. But that leaves just lettuce and tomato. Unfortunately, Carl's Jr. didn't manage to create some wild salad that would have created brand-specific fans. That's totally fine when you consider that they created one of the lower-calorie fast food salads. The charbroiled chicken salad is said to be only around 280 calories without the old-fashioned burden of dressing. To add to it all, it's even high in protein and manages to slap the eater in the face with all the typical ingredients. These, of course, include chicken, iceberg lettuce, some tomatoes, and red onions. While this particular meal may not seem all that exciting, it is known as one of the popular food items on the menu board. Now, there's obviously a good reason for that. It tastes good. One thing many restaurants do is not include fresh ingredients in their salads, as they'll often sit unsold. But that may not be the case when talking about Carl's Jr. You see, food can taste decent in many states, burnt or undercooked, but it will never taste good if it's not fresh. Don't put too many onions in the sauce. Having fresh lettuce could result in a confident crunch, as well as a tasteful blend that usually comes with eating a home-cooked meal. Carl's Jr. understood this when creating this salad. This is yet another one of those salads that you simply enjoy having after a late night out with your friends. It's not so heavy that you'll be up until 6 in the morning, but it's also not light enough to say that you're going to have a headache after eating it due to hunger. All this sooner to feast on our naked heads. <laughs> Barbecue chopped chicken salad. Panera Bread. All right, what'd you bring? All right, uh... Bread. Now, there are many rare occurrences that come into existence, one of them being barbecue ranch sauce on a salad. This doesn't mean it isn't done when looking into what Panera Bread offers its customers. Other than the unique sauce, people manage to get romaine lettuce, the ever-rare tortilla strips, black beans, chicken, and roasted corn, all of which is surprisingly good when slapped together. The only real issue some people might find is the barbecue ranch dressing, but there's always the chance a consumer can ask for something else. You want me to hold the chicken? Huh? Overall, Panera Bread has easily come up with one of the most interesting salads on the market. This is why it's clear that this salad is actually something people want to actively recreate in their kitchens, and recipes attempting to do that actually do exist. However, individuals can try to copy it, but nothing ever comes close to the original, especially if one tiny ingredient is missing. It'd be like trying to recreate McDonald's Big Macs and french fries. Much like some of the spicy foods that you'd enjoy at lunch, it's perfect for that meal of the day. You see, it's got everything you need to have a conversational piece during and after the break. For example, you can literally talk about how you discovered a new usage for barbecue sauce. I'm getting, I'm getting a uh, David salad. Yeah, it is yeah. a David salad. Stay right here and discover more of our great videos. All you have to do is tap that screen. New to our channel and don't want to miss out? Then hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.